Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry it's been a while. I just had a lot going on. I've been super busy. All right, today I'm just going to be trying out different makeup that I've gotten either in BoxyCharm or I ordered a um, little $5 mystery makeup bag off M or it was Etsy, not Amazon. And uh, I'm just going to be trying different products from them. I also bought this beauty blender that is microfiber. I don't know if you can see the little fibers or not a little and so it's a different texture so I'm going to be trying that out today this one's brand new never been used so um I am just going to go in with this infallible by L'Oreal I have used this a couple times so I do love it it's pretty great And I actually had a different concealer I was using with it, and that was the one from Ulta. And it did not want to mix well with this. So I would physically have to mix concealer with this foundation to even get it to, like, set well with it. And that was super annoying. So um, I went ahead and bought some different concealer, and that's what we're going to be using today, guys. It's also from CoverGirl. So now that we've got that done, I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend It's Lit Concealer. And this actually said on the package that it was new. So we're going to see. I did open it and I did swatch it so it looks used, but it's not. Um, it's I normally don't buy the concealers like this, so it's definitely going to be different. It scares me. Oh, I should have bought a lighter color. It might be okay. My other concealer was also just like taking off my foundation as I put it on even though I had a primer on, so it was, it was terrible. It was not good. It did not want to mix at all. Um, so we're just going to blend this out. Okay, yeah, it's blending out nicely. I thought I got a shade too dark, but it's blending out quite nice. Now, I just recently signed up for BoxyCharm, and I've gotten two boxes now. Um, my July box, which I signed up at the end of July, so I got the July and the June box about the same time. And I also, the primer that I used today, I actually got from them, uh, from their July box. It was the No Pore one, which is funny to say. Oof, I put on a lot of that concealer. Apparently you only need a little bit. If not, it's going to be everywhere. So keep that in mind. Most of my concealers that I have put on, I've had to just set there and cake it on. Or else it won't do its job. Which is terrible. But this seems to be doing really well. And I did not cake this one. At all. I did, but not like I normally do. All right, woohoo! I got that done. And now I'm going to use some of my setting powder. This isn't new, you've seen it before. It's my AOA Perfect. It just, powder just flew everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to take that and push it in where I just put my concealer. Okay. 
I just made a big mess. It's okay. Shh. Now we got that done. I am going to clean up this mess really quick. I have let this set for about five minutes, so now I'm just going to gently sweep it off. Now my skin looks nice and soft and flawless. Even over that little pimple that I've had for like two weeks now. You can barely tell. And this is not a full coverage foundation at all. So this concealer did really well. Now I am going to go in with... I got this from BoxyCharm for my July month. Yeah. And it's the Butter London, and it is very pretty. Now, I was really sad when this came in because the blue had cracked, and that it all finally fell out except for a little bit. But it's all super pretty colors. The blue is my favorite, so it's really sad. But they said that they were going to send me a new one in next month's box. So I'm going to go in with a clean brush. And I also got these brushes. It was a set of three. In with my boxy charm as well and they're nice brushes really nice brushes so I'm gonna go in with enchantress which is that first color right there the more natural color I'm just gonna coat the eyelid And I'm just going to do a really simple eye look today. I kind of just really want to see how everything wears. Next, I'm going to go in with Temptress, which is that really dark color. And I'm going to go in my crease and on the edge of my eye. With diva which is right beside that and kind of put it in the middle of my eye it's got a little shimmer to it i'm going to take my crease brush again and dip into that blue color that's so pretty that one right there and do under my eye Just a little, just to give it a little bit of a pop. I've been doing this for a little while now. Used to, I didn't think that I could do it, but I can. I just didn't think I could pull a whole lot of stuff off with my brown eyes. And that's just made my eyes pop up a little bit. So I don't have just all the browns. There we go. And now I'm going to do mascara. And I actually got this mascara in that little $5 mystery makeup bag from Etsy. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. And let me tell you, I love this mascara. And that is layer number two. Now I'm going to go in with some blush. It's still my Ulta Beauty blush. I need new blush because I've been using this for a while. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to go in with my blush. Now I am going to use um, highlight, but I don't know which one I want to use. I guess I'll use 
the Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter, which I got in my boxy charm as well. And with the Jelly Highlight, I like to go in with my finger. Look how pretty that is. Just because it sticks on your face a little better. It's your finger. I don't really like to use my finger a lot on makeup, but it happens. It's got a really good glow to it. And now I am going to go in with, let's see, actually I gotta go get that. Sorry, I had to get my lip products. I got this in my BoxyCharm and I love it. It's really, it's just a really good matte lip, lip gloss. It's fantastic. The color is beautiful. I also got this lip gloss from there and it's wonderful as well. So, I guess I'm just going to go in with this just because it's such a pretty color. Now, one more step. This is the setting spray I just bought, and it is the CoverGirl Outlast Active. It's the same kind as my foundation. And I've sprayed it once just to see how it smelled, and it smells fantastic. I'm used to the Ulta spray, which has no scent, and I'm not trying to dog them, but it's, the droplets just whack you in the face, and you're like, did you take off half of my makeup? As to where this, you can't, you can barely see that mist at the end. And it smells like cucumbers, like florally cucumbers. It's just really good. Alright guys, that has been really fun, and I'm excited to be back. I won't leave you again. I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.